Why do men cheat? Oh yeah. my fucking god. We're not just talking about the time. We're not talking about the time. We're not talking Are you looking for something new? Don't let him answer. Are you looking for a new experience? <laughs> do you just want to be a little hot? Like, if that's what you want, say that shit. Right, we hold, could just uh, be in like a polyamorous I got situation. I got you. Enjoy this show. I roll like you roll. 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 It's kind of a bro code. Thank you. It's like, just to say, okay. The bro code is we ain't broken. As long as you from this one to that one. As long as we don't have babies together. And as long as we were not married or over with each other longer than a year. I don't fuck about shit like that. Welcome to All Day 1102 Network. This is the Pod Family. Today we have a lot of guests. We're going to start from the right. We're going to move that thing along here, you dig? Why you got to start from over here? Okay, ball head worm. Go ahead. <laughs> but this is your boy Get Low, a.k.a. Middle Pan that's rough himself, Mr. Bear Reminds. And he yes. fucks who? And I guess I fuck fat bitches too. Dig it. It's your host, Dede. Deasia. Jada. <laughs> KC1102, a.k.a. Straight K1102. Millie. Aya. Mm-hmm. And, and Rashawn. There you go. And Rashawn. You said what? Straight K? All right. So, um, right quick. Yeah, do your thing. Before we get started, you know, we like to kind of promote things that people do do. Um, <laughs> this lady over there, just let them know what you do. Um, I got to start over here for it. That's what we do at the beginning. Yeah, that's what we do in the beginning. Just getting, you know, <laughs> we do hair. Guy. She <laughs> does my hair. Um, and she also does nails, so. And everything else in the book, yeah. Can you braid this? <laughs> really? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I do hair. I do nails, um, t-shirts, birthday parties, everything. Yep. All right. So, if y'all need, you know, them services, y'all hit her up. So, yeah. Okay. So, the straight bullshit, right? So, when I was out here being a hoe, um, bitches would call me a straight. <laughs> because I would go to every door to all these bitches and try to get fed. You dig? So they call me a straight, so I'm straight K. Um, question, ladies, how come when y'all get out of a breakup, y'all always cut something? What do you mean? It's a transition. Cutting what? Trauma. Oh, like cutting hair. And stuff. It's a transition. Y'all, y'all got to cut something. A new thing. I mean, yeah. It's, it it stops. It's it's supposed to take you from one place to the next. It do. So it's like if you and your husband, wife, whoever got a divorce, you wouldn't live in that same house. You move to a new house. That's mm -hmm. a form of. Cutting in a way. Here, yeah. That was the most PC <laughs> way I've ever heard that shit. It's real though. Yeah, I don't even know how to answer that question now. I mean, Jaren be cutting off all the bitches. Look I at him. I don't do it. I mean, I could off. I'm people, known but... for it. <laughs> I'm known for it. I mean, hey, I was waiting for her answer. I really want to hear what she got to say. Yeah. I'm... She said she cut off people. That's it. I don't yeah, I can yeah. say the cutting thing. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm past that in life. Yeah. Are you telling straight up? Like, I mean, I'm just saying I need to cut something to transition. Nah, I think that's the mind. Cut you mm -hmm. off, was it? I guess. Yeah, but it's just saying. Yeah, <laughs> they just yeah, cut their hair, dye their hair, clean. get a new yeah. tattoo. New beginnings. New beginnings. But, uh, mm -hmm. how, how, okay, question. How come y'all want to get... Okay, now this is really Jaren-like. Don't slap me, y'all too, because I feel it. What you want? Mm -hmm. It's really Jaren-like um, because you're misogynistic. So no, I'm not misogynistic. You are. Don't say that. You are. No, I'm not. You're I patriotic. Just, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not misogynistic. <sighs> and I said that word wrong. I'm glad nobody corrected me. <laughs> so how come, right... I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Who has the next topic? <laughs> and and yeah. that is because Jaren is not misogynistic. That is the next topic. No, I'm right. just around. Uh, next topic. I have a question for the ladies, too. Go ahead, Jaren. Why Why does it take y'all... Why are y'all in the state of I'm about to come longer than y'all in the state of coming? <laughs> <laughs> because it seems what? like when you fucking... <laughs> Wait, what was the question? It was like, too many coming. It just like jumped from. That was layers of coming. Yeah. Like, why are y'all always in the state of I'm about to come instead of actually coming? Motherfucker, because you ain't, you, you stopped the I stroke. I mean, you about to come, like. You fought the stroke up. Normally, that's for everybody. You, you hear this a lot. I'm about to come. I'm about to come instead of, you know, you hear, you hear me when I say I'm coming, but that it's mean, always I'm about to come. Just like, stop what you're doing. 
Now yeah. I gotta concentrate on that stroke because maybe I was about to bust. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's why they say that. Like, I'm about to go. You know how difficult that is sometimes when you're some good pussy. You that sounds like the personal. It, it's <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm that sounds like that personal. What are you, what are you saying? No, it sounds, sounds like, like you know how you sometimes you might feel like you have to cough or you got to fart or you got to hiccup. It feels that way, but it never happens. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> to answer like, your yeah. question, never that's, happens. That's a piece of never PC. Never, 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 never happens. 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 Half y'all niggas, and I'm talking to the viewers, right? Half y'all niggas fuck that stroke up as soon as she say I'm about to come anyway. Niggas do. Almost for real, because as soon as she say I'm about, as soon as she say I'm about to come, oh shit! shit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. She about to come, nigga. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's what happened. That that's what I said. Mean, that's, what I said. No, that's, that's now we gotta concentrate, concentrate and focus in. Like, like okay, now I don't switch up. She almost there, but then it's a risk either way because. If you don't say something, then they switch it up. If you do say something, they switch it up. So it's like, God damn. So how about and you just say away. right there? <laughs> so, a lot of them do say right there. Even if they do say right there, that's the same thing. I don't have this issue. I ain't know. I have yeah, this I'm so, just, I'm, I'm, I'm I just asking the ladies. So like, I hear that a lot. No, I don't. Asking. I mean. Yeah. I'm going to say what I want. <laughs> exactly. What, what, was, what, what was your name going to apologize? Aya. I, what were you about to say? The question for the gentleman is, you can't feel it? Raw. It's, it's a pressure. You can't feel that. Yeah, if you can't feel it, you can feel, it, it, you can feel some it, ripples. You kind of can't take a shot, shot away. Who knows? Because sometimes y'all can grip on your own, and sometimes it grips. On I mean, other days, because see, honestly, as men, we don't <laughs> never truly pay attention when it's gripping. So, what are you thinking about? I don't know. Then? I don't know. You're a I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. You be flexing on them niggas, literally. <laughs> All right, so look. <laughs> All right, so to kind of move on right quick. Uh, you're right. Is it okay to have a bro or sis when you're in a relationship? Somebody you call like your brother or sister. Did you fuck him? Yes. yes. Did you fuck him? It doesn't matter nah, if you fuck him or not. I'm cool. <laughs> so you say, you say it depends. So what does it depend It depends because sometimes these bros and sis be niggas or bitches that wanted you but you really don't want to fuck them like that or you really don't want to fuck them like that and now that you're and your sister mm. now you got to cut them off because now that I'm mm. in my new relationship we can't be together so yeah like it depends now if they really like your bro or your sis like yeah you can't have fuck them if you fuck them or something like that don't be calling you call me your friend or something okay. or something like that I you <laughs> I feel like those kinds of people you know, are the people that sit around and wait for you to get out of relationships to make mm. their move, but the whole time they're, oh, you're my bro, you're my sis, da 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 da. Or you have those people that think they like somebody, whole time when they find out who they really are, they end up not liking them, and it goes from a, oh, I don't want to fuck with you no more, to a, oh, yeah, you just my best friend. We are on a friend. podcast. Why are you making so much fucking sense? <laughs> Does nobody else think like this, though? No, you're completely right. No, 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 you're right. You're right. You're, right. you're absolutely but right. But they, they just mm-hmm. it transition from a, yeah, I don't want you because I don't like the way you move into a, oh, you're just my friend or my bro or my sis or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Fact. But you can't. Can have fucked somebody and still be best friends with them. It, no, it's not in a relationship. You can't, you can't say that with this oh, motherfucker no. right here. That's something different. We did it. So now. why do? So why do you differ with that? Because she, because she's the most bisexual y'all, y'all ever. Y'all That's why. Each other in a, Explicit way, there's yeah. no. She is the worst bisexual. What if it was like I didn't even move over oh, a long good. time ago? It don't matter. <laughs> what no, no. She's if you good. can tell me what it tastes like, what it felt like, no. We talking about? I, I missed that. It depends, though. Also, that like I what we tasting to you. Doing? 
what you sound like is playing Uno and not playing your draw four till the last round. Oh, and that's real. The real shit though. That was some good game you gave out. Hope some lot of ladies caught it. That was some good shit. But um, I think the reason why a lot of men don't like it is because we know if your girl got a bro, that nigga ain't nothing but a potential dick in a glass case that you probably oh, really? that ain't all the time. Uh, no, I said that ain't all the time. I said how yeah. men view it. No, men view no. It. If you have a bro, uh, insecure man gonna look at no, it. No, all men gonna view it like nah. we, we trust you. We don't trust them. People. You can say insecure man anyway. That you had a shame. So massage this whatever you want to do. But I'm trying to tell you. Men, when when you have a bro, your man is gonna view it as hold on, wait a minute, why is homie hanging around? Why is he your bro? We may not question you on it, but in the back of our mind, that's what we thinking. Cause right. I feel uh, like that turn right to you. Legata, right? Like Even Legata, if he right. cool, right. this nigga hanging around for something. Oh no, Jan. Legata. Stick you in the corner. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's weird. I hear a whole bunch of y'all must be traumatized. Because, <laughs> no, I mean, I understand this shit happens, but I'm just saying, no, it, no. I'm the unicorn, so I mean, hey, I just say like this: my best friend, my male best friend. I ain't never fucked this man. I ain't never kissed this man. He ain't never touched my ass. We didn't know that. I remember you saying that. Yeah, and that's what weird. Does he want to fuck you? Does that, thank you. I mean, I would feel like if he wanted to fuck me, I feel like we've been friends for so fucking long at this point. It, the past should have been there at some point. And we've been it's probably me. never been made. No, I, I ain't gonna lie though. Some free. niggas just really like they wait of, forever. Yeah, yeah they, they wait for real. They wait yeah. forever. Like, like I, I guess. Now, how y'all going to agree with the shit I said earlier? But well, y'all first. weird. So, mean, okay, so you a date a guy who had a female friend? Yeah. Yeah. It all, I mean, that's I all depends asked. on what type of relationship. What she dated a guy who had a female friend. It all the type of relationship you in and what type of trust you got. My thing is, I got to give that man, I'm just saying for me, I keep shit kind of fair because when you get unfair, I'm going to get very, very unfair. So right. if I have a friend of the opposite sex, I know that may be hard for my significant other to see that, but I'm not gonna cut my friend off because you mm-hmm. have that insecurity. I'm sorry, but this is long, this is a long time. You know what I'm saying? So I have to give you that same respect and let you have a friend of the opposite sex. I feel like I just give you that chance. That's all it is. You got to give it a chance. Now, once the shit prove opposite or you see something otherwise and it fear yeah. you, okay, act then. But you always got to give somebody opportunity. Yeah. You always got to get an opportunity. You can't mm-hmm. be unfair in this shit because that's how your relationships don't work. Exactly. Resentful. Mad. Bitter. Whooping each other ass. But I also feel like the best friend, too, <laughs> also has a responsibility to know, yeah. like, all right, it's time for me to fall back or whatever. And if they start getting pressed about that shit, they, they want to fuck you. Like, they, they feel some type of way and hurt about that, then, yeah, you know how it is. But a real best friend will be like, all right, let me fall back. And she's no. right because yeah. even with my friend, it's not even like a step off, step back. Well, I guess kind of just with maturity. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like I always made his girlfriends when he had girlfriends feel comfortable around mm-hmm. me. I took that extra step because I know it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How y'all talking in here? It got to be very hard. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying? So I did. I used to always make sure they always understood. Like I will talk to you just like I'm talking to them because I ain't got shit to hide from what you. Is this? It ain't no special oh, hidden conversations. You want me I get it, but I don't like it. So, it Here's the thing. This is this is my only thing. I don't ha, have your male friends. Ha, have your male friends. Fine. Okay. Fine. Yo, stop the dumb shit. <laughs> I'm like trying fine. to be serious. Fine. The thing, the thing is, can he come over? Yeah. Can he come over? And let me like, nigga, this we friend. This ain't yo friend. Yeah, <laughs> this we friend. Okay, mm-hmm. now if I have mm-hmm. a female friend, if she can't come over, me meaning if she feels uncomfortable coming over, I need to check that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or well, do they? Do you like them though? Do you like Excuse them? Me? Do you like their male friend or vice versa? I, I'm sorry to hear what you said. Do you like their male friend? It don't matter if I do or not. It's the fact that I respect them that that they're a counterpart to my girlfriend or my wife. I mean, I don't have to like them, but they, they don't have to fucking like me. But there's going to be a simple type of respect. The thing is, you should be able to put it this way. I shouldn't feel funny with going on a double date with you and your friend and their girl or vice versa. Yeah. You understand? Thanks. We should be able to do that. But if I feel like, okay, Rayshon, you come over. You you Millie friend, right? Millie, my old lady, right? And you got her, right? 
if you come over, if you come over and I feel your ego, you got to go. You got to fucking go. Cause I, I, like I don't have time. For it. Well, I don't have time like, for a dick oh, swing. My <laughs> shit ain't off. I I come from He's a right. woman, therefore I have intuition. Don't fuck with me. Y'all got y'all's. I got mine. He's right. That's not the same way y'all right. women know about a woman. We know about men. That's what he's asking. Different. You have to bet, and I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You have to bet <laughs> your male and <laughs> female friends out from your partner. You, you have to bet them all out because your you female room. friend can have no, girlfriends that don't mean well about her, just as well as she have male friends that don't mean well about her, and vice versa. So I feel like you got to bet your partner's friends out to a degree, or at least the ones that she talk about or adamant about. And if you if you don't bet them out at least to a degree get the norm or whatever, like you said, it's gonna be weird. Like I said, it'd be weird if y'all are on a double date and y'all mm-hmm. don't. Right. Let's change something. I was gonna say. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, I got a question. Okay. <clears throat> so y'all like to mix friends? No, we said y'all don't believe to, in that. We I never said to mix. Friends you say you have to bet them out. You have to okay. it's, not, it's not the fact. It's not the fact that mixing or not mixing. What I'm saying is. If we are cooking, me and you, as you are my wife or my girlfriend, we I are cooking. I know what you said. I'm not and, talking and about that. Then that's what the fuck I'm saying. I'm Take it saying, for what it is. If you got friends, do you want your girl around your friends? She going to be around my friends. I mean, why friends. should that be an issue? You do? I'm kind of not like that. Nah. I don't. Like no, that. I don't want them either because I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. If I look in the camera and say this shit, Pickle Rick, you ain't coming around none of my bitches, you understand? Because you be looking at that. Because I said on previous pods, like, I didn't have, because, like, really, if you, you really got to pay attention because I had shit happen to where, like, some real niggas, like, some close friends mm-hmm. brought them, you know what I'm saying? They came to my house and shit, and she's around them. And then once we broke up, they started talking mm-hmm. and like niggas really grimy in that way and they don't care. They are. Okay, so I've okay. had multiple things so, like that happen. Like I've had situations. I'll be mm-hmm. like, say they in the car with us for one the first time ever, and then they find me on Facebook the same day. Like I think that's weird. That's why mm-hmm. I don't mix friends. I don't want to give nobody. I, I get what you're saying, you're saying, but it's like with <laughs> certain friends too. Like when you're mixing friends, you also have that certain respect. Like for me, I'm not going to. If my friend is leaving, I'm not gonna, you know, you just got. I'm gonna leave too. You You have to have that type of respect, like like mixing with friends. Like you have to know, like this is that. Not only are you making your partner comfortable, but you got to make everybody comfortable too. Mm -hmm. Like so, and then you remember what, Mm -hmm. like what it is and what I don't know. I I guess it's how my friend group sees because I know that my friend has friends that are, you know, which most of them are gay. So <laughs> my friends have girls that they're friends with <laughs> or whatever. So they like hang out or whatever. Mm. But if a party happening, her wife is inviting them. They're mm. all coming. We're all together. We're coming. We, you know, we mix and we talk. So it's just about having that respect too with the partner. I five no more than five on this topic, right? So question, see, because I run a little motherfucking different. From the way y'all answered, I can tell y'all is not going to rock with what the fuck I say. So here's the thing. Jaren's my homeboy. Jaden, we together. You go with that nigga after? I personally don't give a fuck. What am I going with him after where? What no, no, you? after me and you. Oh, I'm just saying, if well, y'all go together we, after me and him, I don't give a me, fuck. I'm saying, I, well, hey, I'm, like nigga, you I'm glad you I'll, got to enjoy this pussy too. I rock like you rock. <laughs> I rock like you. I feel like I rock like you. Though, it's kind of a bro code. It's, it it's, kinda, it's, kinda it code. It it's like just, just like okay. The bro code is we ain't broken. As she long as you from this one or that one. As long as we don't have babies together. And as long as we were not married or over with each other longer than a year. I don't give a fuck. We ain't. That homeboy sleeping. Exactly. Why you gonna make a lot of noise? Okay, that's the same thing. I'm just saying. How you gonna say he a misogynist and then say something like that and be dapping him up? Because I'm not one. And that's why. Number two. <laughs> Number two. My homeboy married. Why would you say that? My homeboy married you my ex. What I said. You can't hear what I said. So guess what? You didn't hear what I said. What? what? That wasn't wait, a scenario wait, wait, I gave. Wait, wait, wait. My, you, there, there was a girl. You right. only married your ex? There was a girl I used to fuck with. Years later, she ended up oh, dating a homeboy. See, I thought you was the one like They got married. I'm not going to look at my homeboy and be like, hey, man, why would you marry somebody that I used to See, that's not what I said. Are you talking about a fuck? Are you talking about people used to fuck or people used to date? 
It don't matter. It well, matters. It matters. Well, let me tell you this right now. One at a time. My friend, let me look in the camera. My friend, but with anybody I used to date, then yeah, we got a motherfucking issue. Yeah. Now, if it's somebody I used to fuck with, they can sit here and be like, "I right, look, I know you smash. Can I smash?" <laughs> By all means, have your time. I knew that. You but that at the same was. time, Constantly. and at the same time, but. If you're, if we're dating, yeah, that is a problem because I'm looking at you sideways. Why the fuck is you plotting on my relationship on the background? You're a backup plan. That's weird. That's mm-hmm. some weird shit. And your friend that did that to you was weird. And I hope you're still not friends with him. So that's weird. <laughs> my yeah. nigga, right, we date one. Okay, okay, so what do y'all classify as dating? Hmm? That's what a good damn question. What do you classify as dating? Because hey, I have a cousin. He broke it down to me, so like, there's a difference between dating and, and uh, a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Very true. And you know what's crazy? The reason why a woman will call her ass from this is now make that no, 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 we not. No. I'm watching the time. Might as well go to sleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, what do y'all classify dating? You talking to women or men? Both. Mm-hmm. Dating. Either one. What do you say, Deja? Oh, um, God. If we, if we <laughs> right. having sex raw, if we telling each other... Mm-hmm. Deep stuff. If we making plans for the future, mm. that's a relationship. I don't care what nobody say. Dating to me <laughs> oh, is. I'm so sorry, brother. Uh, oh, going on dates. Y'all together, together. Y'all calling each other bae or whatever. I mean, y'all just trying to get to know each other. And y'all just mm-hmm. talking. And sometimes dating can be you trying to find somebody else too, though. Like, cause you might not just want that one person. You may be searching it's a trial to, and error. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I think this is subjective because, I mean, personally, there's been times where I've dated multiple women at a time. That's what I'm saying. And then there's been times where I've dated one person at a time. But it has to be an agreement. like Yeah, it has to be an understanding. Like, okay, we're just talking to each other. Like, we shouldn't be dating Mm -hmm. outside of each other. Yeah. If we don't work out, then we just stop talking. Yeah, okay. But wouldn't that be a relationship? What are y'all talking about to say? Okay, so dating, I feel like dating, like... What do you do when you're dating someone? I'm sorry. What, what do you do when you're dating someone? When I'm dating someone, the Just same thing I'm doing. When I'm in a relationship. Thank you. No. Uh, okay. So I just treat you a lot better. You 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 leveled up. Okay. So dating would be okay. So the way I have, I look at it <laughs> because I'm gonna treat all of them. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm gonna treat all of them good. I'm gonna treat you how you come. If you come as a bitch, I'm gonna be a dog. You come as a hoe, I'm gonna be a pimp. You come as a woman, I will be your man. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, if you know, but you will know about everybody I'm dealing with, and you will be, and when you're around, you will be treated accordingly. I don't like that I agree with you that time. A lot of people don't, because it's true. It shocked the shit out of people. Some people really don't, like, I'm going to give you the respect that you give yourself. Like, that's just how I feel. Well, I, me, I think dating consists more of just sex, really. And then the relationship is everything. Like the deep stuff, like she said. Shit, nigga, mm-hmm. I need to do some dating. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> if we just have sex, then we just fucking, we ain't dating. Exactly. Dating yeah. is you taking me out, we doing stuff. That's yeah. dating. We're learning. Well, you can date more important. than one person. So yes. yeah, what she said, you're just personally, dating more than one person. If I'm dating you, I'm personally trying to give you a preview of what this could be. In a relationship. So what it sounds like everybody in this room saying that if we if y'all date, dating anybody, y'all dating yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I tell you, you ask me talk. to be your girlfriend. I honestly believe I'm single. I really don't. A lot of people live poly that just don't, don't, don't say think, it out loud. I don't know. All right, so look, moving on. Right on if you my nigga, you know it. All right, so this is kind of a question for the ladies, and then the guys can jump in. Um, why do women stick in what I like to call situationships? Rather than acquiring for <laughs> potential, potential, yeah. Mm-hmm. So potential, potential of what it could be, what they could be. I can't even fall in love with a thought. Familiarity. You say what? Familiar. Yeah. Familiar. Forget it. Being yeah, you know that shit. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I said it right the first I time. Put yeah. me up. All right, All right. Uh, Melly, Why do women stick in situationships? Um, me. That shit can be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic be, radar. You are it could be, be fun. Like, okay. All right. I'm sorry. Did I? Right, I People stick in situationships because time, money, investment, 
Ooh. All of it, Why you, you know. Some people, so I like Oreos, you some people feel <laughs> like that <laughs> situationships could work out if there is a balance on both ends. But if there's balance on one end and not on the other end, then you know that person's obviously going to stick around because they still see some kind of like potential. potential. <laughs> but right. more so, like if there's time behind it and investments, like if y'all live together, if y'all have children. Yeah, you gonna want to stick it out, cause nigga, what we ain't okay. gonna do this here. Well, back, uh-uh. kind of about yeah, what she said. Like, you look at older people; they've been together for so many years, regardless ups and downs. But no. they don't put so much time in. It's more so like a what is it? Uh, Pretty much uh, like a marriage you know, without saying. all the legal shit. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. that, I don't agree that, with that. Part. I don't classify that as a situation show, though. Yeah. Well, a situation ship to me is more like a. We're supposed oh to be in a God. relationship, but around. we don't know what the fuck we're doing because we're having issues and you want to be a hoe and you want to do this and you want to do that and all that shit. That's shit. what I classify as more I got you. Okay. I'm going to let you go because you, you ready to No, I was, was going to let you go first. I got to eat. You good? Go ahead. Go um, ahead. I'm going to be honest with you. The reason why people, male and female, stick in situationships is because of- uh, The second door. Emotional roller coaster. It's, it's both people that are in the situationship, they know that they are to a degree trauma bonding to a degree, and they know they know ain't shit coming out of this, They, but it's good to them because that's all they know. They know it's wild sex, it's a good time, but then it's drama, and then it's that emotional shit. And that's why they mm-hmm. stick in it. You you in it for the emotional connection, even though the emotions is all over the place, at least you got that connection with somebody. That's why people stick into it. Yeah, I feel like they're sticking to it. Um like you say, potential. Um, I think it's more so because they're content. That's that'd be the main word for me, just being content. Like, where were they at? I got another answer too. What's that? When I was in my situation, I think it was more so because I couldn't have them how I wanted. And I guarantee you, if I got them how I wanted, I wouldn't have wanted them no more. That's every woman. <laughs> okay. Keyshawn. <laughs> um, yo, I'm not advertising. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I've had that bottle in my hand for a minute. <laughs> situationships, I mean, any situationship I've ever been in personally was um, very toxic. So, very, very, very toxic. Um... Yeah, nah, fuck all that sweet shit. I think, I think, yeah, <laughs> fuck all that sweet shit. People stay in it, honestly, from everything y'all said, uh, being comfortable, um, from having them, if I can't have, if I can't have all of you, just give me a piece of you. I'll take a piece. It's okay. Like, 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 I'm serious. Like, am I lying? That's some, real shit. some people do That's real that. Shit. If I can't have all of you, I'll take a piece from you. Um, I've been in that situation. Sure. Um, um, also, when it comes to <laughs> shut up, Lejay. Uh, I did not even say no, anything. No, it's your beagle. <laughs> no, it's your beagle. Oh, yeah. I, what are you talking about? It, it's just a difficult thing, man. <laughs> I don't recommend it for no damn body. Like, let's mm-hmm. just be honest. I'm a hoe, you a hoe. Let's just fuck and and leave and just. Like, don't touch me afterwards. Don't stop telling me you want me and you know you got to go back to your man. All right. <laughs> well, I got a little Trauma. mini little game right quick. Side note. We've had people almost do that. All right. So, uh, <laughs> would you rather, um, would y'all, and we just, everybody just kind of answer. Uh, would y'all rather have your nipple pierced or a tat on the inside of your lip? Wait, are you guys inside the lip? I would rather have my lip. Is there? Is there option C? All right. I'll take the lip. Is there option C? Nah, A and B. A and B. You said nipple pierced. I don't get my nipples pierced. I've had my nipple pierced, so I definitely get a lip tight. What is that? I'll take the lip because you can put something there, but anybody gonna never see it. Unless they all look in your mouth. I take the lip because, like you say, you had it. Yeah. And I'm not getting my nipple pierced. I just can't do it. Yeah, so me neither. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I just I want to know the input. Yeah, not for real. Uh, cause what, what's up with that with the nipple rings with the men? I seen that one time, like, I mean, really in person. Well, honestly, it was, it was a dare happened. for me. It was a dare for me. That's it. So you mm-hmm. just got one or both of them? One. Okay. Yeah. And I took that bitch out as soon as I got caught on the seatbelt. 
I seen him throw a book one time. It kind of scared me. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Would y'all rather have your significant other ignore you for three days or argue for three days? Ignore the fuck out of me. Please shut the fuck up for three days. Give me that silence. I don't don't say shit, bitch. Do we have a argue? subject on an argument? <laughs> you pay. No, because being ignored, that'll hurt my feelings. This is coming from... So do you like, do you like to argue in relationships, though? Like, do you like argue, like having arguments? Or do you enjoy it? Kind of. <laughs> it makes me feel like you care. How? <laughs> C-H-E. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, y'all, 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 make sure y'all person. edit this. Worst bisexual ever. That don't got nothing to do with being thing. bisexual. <laughs> no. How was that thing? <laughs> what? It was the whole... <laughs> <laughs> what y'all say? What was the question? Uh, would you rather <laughs> your significant other, your girl, whatever, or oh, uh, ignore uh, you? Ignore are. for three days. Ignore. I I don't like arguing. Like I'm just gonna sit down and look at. I you. feel like you're so like nah. Like, like, you very just much brush is. it off. Yeah. yeah. I hate that. <laughs> you I stand stand you start fussing. I'm just sitting there looking at you. I stab you. Stab <laughs> what about you? Uh, ignore. Ignore. Please. All right. I. All right. Okay. I got PTSD, girl. I get hit by bitches. I need you to not throw your hand up at me. I promise. It's a serious thing. What's your again. answer to the question? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I answered it fucking first. What was the question? Oh, I don't I, think I said keep All right, next one. Next one. Uh, would y'all rather take cold showers every day or two warm bubble baths? Two warm bubble baths. Oh, of course. Yeah, I take you a bubble bath. can't move bath. shit with cold water. Uh, I'd rather be sitting there looking like. But you only get two baths in a week. Oh, out of the week. Oh, cold shower. Oh, week. Yeah, oh, week. Oh, cold shower. Oh, sorry, so cold shower every for day. So it's for a week. Like cold shower every day or just two baths. I've been locked up before. I'll take that cold shower. Two baths. Yeah, yeah, give me that cold shower. Cold two shower. baths. I misunderstood the question. I can't do nothing with cold. <laughs> two baths. Because I like my water piping hot and mm-hmm. I can I just do, white, 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 white to my next Y'all must bath. be staying in the house all day. I never. All right, lie. Well, if I was staying in the house, give me the, give me the, give me the two baths. Two baths. I, 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 I hate cold, cold water, too, but I ain't going to care. I don't feel clean cold with shower. cold water. No, I mean, I don't feel clean. I like the food. Give me treatment. So you two baths in a week. Yeah, I might have to roll with that. I'm sorry. I had to think hard on it. Like, ooh. Yeah, I'm rather going. Yeah, I'm rather be in that motherfucker like so this, but so I'm gonna move. I, bro, I can't. Yeah, I had to be in the house like all day though. Like, mm-hmm. Two baths, like I can't. Remember. But God knows, them two gonna make it count. Yeah. Mm. So what what day would y'all pick throughout that week? Monday, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, give me, give me, give me like the middle. Give me like Tuesday and that Friday. Yeah. I'll skip. The reason days. I said that though too, because I drove tri- well. I drove trucks over the road, so like I had to go like a couple of days without taking a shower. So I kind of know how it is. I'm sorry, I've been a driver. What about you? You a driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we used to do when you had a flashback. I definitely what did. What I do when I was driving? Yeah. 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 Um, I stopped to a Loves, a Pilot, uh, a, a TA, a Petro, um, a fucking hotel if I need See, to I take a shower. See, I was a trainer, so my trainer, I was on his schedule. He showered only two times out the week. So I, I, I need another mentor. Hey, I cuz I cuz I quit after 2 weeks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cuz you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm sleeping in the same bed as you. Oh, well, I had top bunk. He had bunk. No, no, but you know you're not supposed to be on that top bunk while he's driving, correct? Oh, well, I see. I exactly. Yeah. So, if I have to share a bed with you, which I'm supposed to because I'm team driving, and if you're driving the truck, I have to be sleep. I'm going to be in that bottom bunk. You're disgusting. Hold on. Yeah. Take a fucking I, I, I shower. Slip on the top bunk. Yeah, yeah, get your dirty ass yeah, no, up no. out of there. I don't give a damn. Get your, <laughs> no. get your dirty ass in that cold oh, that was water. <laughs> and at least hit the hot spots, you nasty bastard. Hit <laughs> 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 the hot spots. All right, so next one. Uh, would y'all rather be stuck in a maze, like a maze room with Jason for 30 minutes or let Freddy into your dreams for 30 minutes? Let Freddy come in my dreams. I'm about to beat the shit out of your bitch ass. That's my boy. I wish... What? Jason. Oh, give, me, give me Freddy, because I don't be remember some of my dreams. How you gonna beat me in my so. dream, Freddy? That's I'm me, I'm motherfucker. I'm not fucking with Freddy. The person well, that's gonna know. kill I don't me know. the fastest, I... whichever one is gonna kill me the fastest, because neither. I don't do that's scary. That's what he's gonna die. Whoever, hey, st- I'm gonna stand right here, you gonna do what you do, and that's gonna be that. 
I don't do You know what? I might take Freddie because it's all a mental game with him. Thank you. And like, I'm mentally strong. I feel like I could probably. I'm tired, so. That amazing sound. But he's strong than a motherfucker. I don't even stop. I don't don't like running from people. But you in a maze, though. But yeah, you're right. You got a maze. But I'd rather take Freddie in my dream. So wait, are you getting out of the maze or no? Yeah, that's a good question. You getting out of the maze or you stuck? It's just ain't no way out but through him. You got to, you're stuck in the maze and you got to last for 30 minutes. Oh, oh you got yeah, a 30 minute time. Give me, Fred. Give me Fred. If you ain't making it out of that maze with Jason for 30 minutes, your oh. ass is just. <laughs> you ain't making it out of that maze with Jason, bro. Okay. All right, Kishan, you had anything else mm-hmm. you wanted to hit on? Oh, I, oh, got, I thought I, you wanted me to answer the question. Oh, oh, oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, my bad. I, I already then had I'll let you ask something. So, I mean, I'll take Freddie all day. Freddie? Yes. All right, everybody answer, right? Yeah, okay. I answer it. What's happening, Sean? So, y'all all been in parties, right? Well, I know y'all have. I haven't. Okay, well. We're going, this what is kind of party are we talking about? Just a regular, I, okay, a nigga party. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> a nigga party, what's that? <laughs> what a party parties? full of black people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so black either, people. Definitely not, because I don't fuck with you niggas. <laughs> Racist? Agreed. Dreams and nightmares. Agreed. Or? Dreams and nightmares. Finito. Finito. Damn, I don't know what that is. Finito. Dreams and nightmares. Finito. What song is that? Dreams Chief of Nightmares, are you again. stupid? I got to go. They really got no business. All right, so that one kind of hard, though. Yeah, finito. Nah. Man, bump, only know bump, me. Bump, bump. I forgot. But, uh, the reason why I'm going to say Finito, because everybody has heard Dreams of Nightmares a million times. But yeah, I know, but it, yeah, everybody has heard Finito. Oh, nah, you don't know about Finito. If you had a pick, though, like far as a hype song, like coming on the middle of a party. Dreams of Nightmares. I'll probably be Finito yeah. then. Finito. I would literally, like, finito. I literally want to walk down the aisle of Dreams of Nightmares. <laughs> I'm gonna say for Nito because like, that beat come in kicking you in your ass. It never get old. Like even kids, oh, oh. like know, know that, that song. Shit. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nightmare. That was born in the 2000s. Like they know that song. So you know my dreams. But, <laughs> that's a good question. I, I'm gonna take Nito. That beat just too hard. All right, let's see. What time is it? All right, so what's uh to y'all for the ladies? What's some cornball shit that a man do? Because one that I think is like, nigga holding like stack of money. To me, I hate seeing niggas like doing mm-hmm. that shit. Mm-hmm. Holding a lot of stack of money. Like. Corny. Yeah. It's a long yeah. list. Right? <laughs> Let me keep going. Are we talking yeah. about people in general Ooh. or significant? Other? A guy. No, a like guy. people. A guy. A guy. Like, what's some cornball oh shit that you see? Dudes do the good. I hate when. Um... <sighs> Oh, she got a long list. <laughs> she had an XL. God damn. Um, I hate when single. niggas be trying to like, I don't know. I hate when niggas tell me to smile. Mm. That shit is dumb. I hate when niggas be asking me, <laughs> oh, are you married? Like, oh, they want to, I don't know. I hate, I work at a liquor store. So I get a lot of guys Ooh, saying the craziest, fish, stupid man. stuff mm-hmm. every day. Word. Like with my nails, like, oh, can I, can I hire you to be a back scratcher? Ew, no. And then like, oh, where your man at? Where your, where your, where your woman at? Where this? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I hate niggas. Niggas as a whole in that situation just sound like an automatic no. Cornball. Yeah. <laughs> niggas make you really just be like. <sighs> it's okay. It's a I don't like when a nigga tired. opened my motherfucking door. That nigga trying to pay can. for my dinner, girl. No, that's not. Huh. No, it's not. It's a difference between that's what you can know like. between a nigga that's trying to get in your pants and do some, or a nigga just being genuine. Not some guy, like you can tell the difference. A nigga trying to get in your pants, like no, a guy is actually being genuine with that gonna, shit. Okay, how you gonna tell the difference though? I think you can. You, can, you <laughs> know. I know you can. You fucking you can know. To a degree, you but I'm let saying, question. Let me ask I can question. tell when a nigga do, doing something out the kinds of their heart, like on some shit, like. Don't worry about that shit. Whatever, I could whatever. dig. I could dig. So have you dealt with dudes before? Have I? Yes, I have. How many times have you dealt with a dude that he ended up being a fuck boy? A fuck boy? How many times have you dealt with a dude he seemed to be good, but he ended up being a fuck boy? What is the times? definition? My of baby a daddy's fuck boy. Your baby daddy's. How many? How many? No, 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 no. How many? How many? How many, how many, how many, how many oh! What's the number? One, two, no! two. So you know what that means? You couldn't tell two goddamn times. So whatever you That's just said. That's a difference. Said, no, no, That's no. So whatever difference. you just said don't mean nothing. Let me, you, let me you, know. Let me tell you, you the difference. You, you, you struck out twice. No, let me tell you You're the difference. You're attacking her. No, he ain't attacking me. The difference is at that well, age. Well, that's the difference. No. Duh. At that time, like. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Let me guess the age. I was young and dumb, right? 
No, I wasn't like, fucking young and dumb, but I actually dated them. These mm-hmm. ain't boys that I just picked up off the street and I was just like, oh, I'm going to fuck you and duck you. What is a whatever, fuck whatever. Like, But So what is your point that you're making? My point is this. You said, you said basically you can tell when he ain't shit tomorrow. or whatever, right? <clears throat> you, you said you can tell when he basically is that type of I didn't of hear her say that. Basically, she, she round about, that's what she was talking about. Dude, no, round about. don't put words you, you, t- you can tell when it's genuine. So my question was, if you can tell when it's genuine, how many times have you met a dude that seemed to be genuine and he was a fuck boy? She said but twice. But why do you think she that? She said, no, 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 no. She said, I'm explaining this to her. She said. And then he took it He took it and ran with it. Mm-hmm. No, she yeah, said. Because he genuinely. What no, made you question, think, what made you think is, that I didn't think. If you can think, genuinely tell, then there should never be a shit. But what made you think that I didn't think that my baby daddy was not. Like, why do you. I don't think that's my like question, they don't correlate. Because if you can tell because, it's genuine, then you should have no problem. But don't with people this. change? I like don't like, people change and do different things? You can meet somebody and they be a genuine person, like your ex. Then when you meet her, she seemed nice and kind or something like that. And then y'all break up. She's a bitch now. That's it. I don't get it. Like when you meet that person, you're dating that person, you're talking to that person. They're one way. Mm-hmm. They're genuine. They're gonna do stuff out of the kindness of their heart. But then when they change and become a different person yeah, and do different yeah, things, yeah, like, yeah, we, we you know what I mean? Like, that, I get what you're going at, but he it took just it don't make sense. I got you. You took it You just going to say something? It's kind of like a, a double-sided sword in a way. Because just say if a person is actually trying to be genuine, and then you end up thinking they not. No, because you're going to know. Because if they're going to keep doing that same genuine thing... When they keep doing that same genuine thing, like, don't put out what you're not con- going to continuously do. Right? So, if you sit here and you, like, open gr- a door for a girl and that's just, you just doing that just to get in her pants and stuff like that, like, why, if you normally don't do that, why do that? Because you're trying to get but something from her, right? Day. No, but you trying to pull some shit out your back so you shit. can get some right. pussy. So you get- you know how many times I've genuinely held a door for a woman? Genuinely, I didn't do it. That's not how I wear my pants. I just feel like, oh, no, you know, you know how many times I've genuinely held a door for a woman? One person talking, okay. please. You know how many right. times I've genuinely held a door for a woman? Let me let her answer, then we're going to move on right quick. Okay, so it, the question was what's some cornball corn ball shit? From the very beginning, yeah. Yeah, okay. So. Messaging me and asking, can I just give you head? You don't know me from Adam. <laughs> can I just give you head? Can I just eat your ass? Mm-hmm. What? Uh, I say I like girls. Oh, well, I can join. Mm-hmm. Cornball shit. Flex some money, like you said. Uh, acting one way in front of people and then acting another way in private. That's another way. It's, it's a lot of... It's a lot of... It's a lot. Uh-uh, we moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this corny ass that, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna start it. <laughs> no, 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 no. This ain't woman hate. We're, we're still in March. I'm gonna let y'all have that. Come on, woman. <laughs> we got till June. We're not gonna have. We gotta, we, we gotta wait till June for that when it's Father's Day. <laughs> for, no, I just, I just That's got something to say. Baby, yeah. Okay. Huh? Mm-hmm. So when <laughs> the thing is, y'all, women, women want honesty and integrity and straightforwardness, correct? Mm-hmm. I guess. Okay, I understand that it may be a little creep-like because a nigga don't know you, but like, if a nigga really just come at you and be like, yo, I want to eat some pussy, I mean... That's cornball. Because that, so how many females have you done that to? A lot. Then, yes. how many, what do you have? You About got five, and it fucking happened. That's, at least, that's at least seven this week, and I'm just playing. You <laughs> go around to people you don't know, ask them to eat their pussy, whatever got AIDS. Then That's I weird. know what game I played, and I understand the gamble that I'm taking. Okay, by. so now you, you want to gamble with my life. Right. Oh, I thank mean, you. Thank you. You make thank the you. conscious decision. I, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so. I want y'all to consciously be able to take that damn decision. Right. But that's, that's what yeah. 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 No, but you're right. Yeah, you're right. Bad. That's still a cornball but, shit. But that's the reality that men live in every day. You have to be on up to your consequences. Men and women live over there. She, oh, okay. she ain't never met no fuck boy or nothing like that. Cause she a different color though. Jada, Jada. No, different. ain't nobody talking about Jada. She a unicorn. Leave her alone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rainbows Jada. around I her. I say it don't Blood matter if I ran into a fuck right. boy. <laughs> so we're going to, we just going to get ready to close it out soon. Um, you know how to act. All right. I'm walking with the dog. See if someone might have an answer. What is like one of the biggest uh, kept secrets you had somebody keep from y'all in a, like, in a relationship? <laughs> she killed my baby. <laughs> Yo, what we doing here? What we doing? It it would be for you when you. Never mind. I ain't gonna do you. I ain't gonna do you. What's the biggest kept secret that somebody kept for y'all? I ain't saying that shit up here. 
They killed my baby. Shit, I don't know. If y'all have one. No, I don't I have one. <laughs> okay. How many chances would y'all give uh, your significant other, like, if they cheated on y'all? How's a good amount of number? We work at Moen. Okay. <laughs> There's a three point system. <laughs> you you understand? Fall. If you late for less than four hours, then it's half a point. <laughs> if you are late more if you are late more than four hours. Again, the currency. Yeah, you, you get one occurrence. <laughs> when do the when do the verbal warning come in? When the verbal warning come in? We gotta give them a verbal warning. <laughs> right then, motherfucker. That's what you say. Mm-hmm. Well, that's you. I don't deal with you. So one, <laughs> one yeah, and done. One and done. At this point in my life, I don't give a damn how many times you cheat, as long as you ain't fucking up on the bills. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 honestly, I don't care if you cheat. Just don't get caught. Like, have enough respect for me to do it. In and your if you're gonna cheat, dish. don't tell. Me, if you're gonna tell me about it, don't. At, tell you about it. At least let me know I owe you one. That's, if you're gonna I mean. cheat and I and I come to you about it, just don't fucking lie, bro. Just don't fucking lie. When you start lying, that's when we got a damn issue. And after that, it's just, hey, it my is thing. what it is. Women do my one, number women one, do one rule. day. Just tell them the truth. Exactly. My number one rule is if you're not willing to leave, let that person cheat in peace. Let them cheat in peace. Mm-mm. Yes. If you're Why not, are you going to cheat on something I like? like if you're not baby. willing to leave that man or that woman something. once you confront them about that shit, because now you look at their phone and all that stuff, let them cheat in peace. And you sleep Respect. well because you're going to be crying. They're going to be sleeping pretty good. pretty much saying it's on you to dictate the. Yeah, outcome. because once you once I confront you, it's, that's it. You know that you're not going to leave them. So now you done posted all this shit on Facebook. <laughs> done deleted no them, blocked them. Like and you right back with like them. Yeah, Let them cheat in peace. I do that. I Let do them that. cheat in peace. Bro, I stayed one time. I'm going to tell y'all. Mm-mm. I stayed. I'm going to tell y'all what I did. Then he begged me to stay. He did. He begged me to stay. He got caught. Did he cry again? That is what I did. I stayed. We all no, cried. No, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen. No, I'm going to tell you what happened. Like a Hold on, dude. Y'all I stayed. Boy, but he caught hell every second of every yeah. motherfucking day. Y'all don't want to know that. To the point it was Jada. Can, can I, you no, just we please? <laughs> be nice. <laughs> That's exactly what I got. I got yeah, dinner no. and a can no, you please you after a couple days. Like, please, no, motherfucker. Mm. You want me to stay so bad? You got it. I can't you going through hell. I can't be miserable. It won't be miserable. I slept good every night in that bed. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> got dinner. Right. Everything. All right. Um, Hell is your home. Anybody got any last thing, <laughs> last word? Or Keyshawn, you want to close it out? Or any? I'm still thinking about any that. Any last thing? On me, bro. Huh? Uh, I'm playing. Um, I'm traumatized. <laughs> Where YB at? I don't understand. Um, Talk to me, so Why do men cheat? Oh my fucking god! We're not tired. We're not tired for that. No, 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 no. Why do y'all cheat? Not starting. What is the reason? Are you looking for something new? Don't let him answer. Are you looking for a new experience? Do you just want to be a little hoe? Like if that's what you want, say that shit. We could just be in like a polyamorous situation. I got you. Respect, respect, respect. This nigga gonna say because they just like new pussy. And that's right fine. That, just that's let me know. This nigga is gonna say <laughs> because he's horny, <laughs> he's lacking, and is this this why not? You're lacking what? Lacking pussy. where? Me personally. Where are you me personally, I'ma just keep it hot. I've been drinking, so I'm gonna tell the whole truth. The whole if you don't eat ass, I'm gonna go find that bitch who do. Ooh. And I'm gonna go get that done. <laughs> okay. And I'm not. A, I'm not disagreeing. With and that. I ain't gonna go get nothing Ooh. else. That is. Somewhere. I'm gonna just go get that, and I'm coming back. See, I I feel like man, like to add on what he said, mm-hmm. to add on what he said about my thought. I feel like there comes a time when men just feel like they need new pussy. That's Honestly. cool. Say that shit. A, uh, but y'all don't want to hear, and like we're in a deep ass relationship. Hey, and man, I want some new. Y'all pussy. gonna be like, no, it's cheating. So. If we agree and we both say, y'all not oh, gonna yeah. agree though. That's the thing. Who there's not? Very few, there's very few. Okay. Who not? The not. easiest way you to get cheated on no is you can't suck dick. You, do. Um, you don't even count no more. The reason why if I don't suck dick, let's get somebody that do it. And I'm gonna watch her do it. You're gonna be it's mad at the motherfucker when he leaves no, you for I'm that not. motherfucker too. But that's what's no, gonna happen. No, 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 she's gonna die. 
Point like that. She's going to die. <laughs> so, they, they, see, they, 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 we can, can, going there. We you can do polyamorous. We can do polyamorous. But if you're just saying, oh, well, it's a difference. See, if you, if you want to just experience some new, <laughs> new cooch, <laughs> new whatever y'all want to call it, that's cool. Do that. So we can do that people. together. Oh, my, but if you just don't want to be with a person as a cool. whole, yeah. if you want to be with that person or just experience what you want to experience, then just say, look, I don't want to do this anymore. Just say that. women not going to want to do it together, man. <laughs> well, see, that's them, but I know me. Right. So you got two options: either you exactly. gonna get the fuck out of here, or we gonna do this polyamorous. So you down with that what poly shit? I would try it. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm about to say. She is. She smiled actually, a little harder. She's actually solid. That, that's you, right? That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. She is that's solid. That's you, right? Of course you like that shit, Jerry. No, right. it's not because of that. Oh, yes, I love it, but that ain't the point. <laughs> the The fact of the matter is, she's solid. I, that type of Dark process that she has, I feel like she's a team player. She, no, because she's a team yes, because player. she's so dick, oh she's a God, team player, something you will never know about. All <laughs> right, therefore, this is all day 1102 network. This is Pod Family. Thank you for watching. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. So you get and also, please, if you don't suck dick, put your damn hands in the comments, you know, because I need to know so I don't talk the ass ever. Um, and um, ladies, good. <laughs> just. Learn Someday. the first time. Yeah. And if you're fat bitch and you're cute, hey. No <laughs> way. <laughs> All day 11 2 we out. Guys. I will never do this again. <laughs> you are so funny. All right.